In this media, you will learn about the working of centrifugal tachometer. Centrifugal tachometer has a dial, small hard rubber tips and a pointer. Internal parts of centrifugal tachometer consist of fly weight, upper and lower collars, spring and drive shaft. The upper collar is fixed and lower collar can be moved up and down along tachometer driving shaft. A spring is fitted to the driving shaft and it connects the collars. A hard rubber tip is fitted to driving shaft of the tachometer to measure the speed of the motor. The tip of the centrifugal tachometer is pressed on the counter sunk point on the shaft of the motor. As the motor rotates, the driving shaft and fly weight in centrifugal tachometer also rotate. Centrifugal force is exerted on the fly weight and it pulls the fly wheel away from the sender. This force makes the lower collar to rise and compresses the spring. The upward movement of the lower collar is restricted by the spring tension. The pointer is attached to the lower collar through a gear mechanism. The linear movement of the lower collar is converted into rotary movement for the pointer with the help of gear mechanism. The pointer indicates speed in the dial. Thus you have learned about the working of centrifugal tachometer.